fish and love is kind, doesn't know evil. Love is strong, gives confidence, hope in hardest moments. Love protects, unifies, removes every fear. It's beautiful, does not contend, cherish one another, never failing love. God ordain love, powerful love, eternal. Welcome and good evening. Welcome to Marito Bliss, a place where we talk issues, marriage, where we talk about marriage as God intended. Uh, we have had feedback. People are getting blessed even as they watch Marito Bliss because here we only talk about issues uh, of marriage according to God's perspective. My name is Pastor Pauline Gashero, and today I am joined uh, on set by a very wonderful friend of mine. Uh, her name is Pastor Susan. She'll, be, she'll go ahead and introduce herself, but I want to welcome each and every person that is watching us this evening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for being part of our program tonight and kindly share the broadcast so that somebody else somewhere can get blessed together with you so make sure that you just go to that place and share so that someone else can also get blessed so today we are taking a very different twist from how we normally do uh, marital bliss yeah because you can see the pastor morris is not on set and i tell you today you are going to enjoy yourself because we are looking at a very very sensitive very sensitive subject and today we are looking at why why do marriage men leave their homes why do men a man that has a beautiful wife a man that has wonderful children a man that has a thriving career a man that had a vision of the kind of family that he wanted what is it that causes this man to leave this beautiful wife and go to the streets of Nairobi or wherever you are watching us from to go and look for a woman that he has no relationship with, a woman that he, he, he does not even have a plan to have a future with, a woman that he has no clue who her partner was the previous day, a woman that he has no clue whether she's a murderer or a witch. He really has no clue on about this woman. What is it that causes says a man to leave the security of his home, to leave uh, uh, the place that you'd call secure, the place that you'd call safe, to go to the streets. What is it that causes a man to go to the streets? And the person that is going to tell us why, she is telling us from uh, a point of experience uh, right now she's a mighty woman of god doing great and mighty things uh for god but this is not where she has always been there is a place that uh, she is coming from and uh, the amazing thing about god is that uh, there, are, there are no wasted experiences no wasted experiences and how she has decided not to waste her experience it could have been painful and not many people can actually uh, come out and tell the world this is who I was and this is what God has made out of the person uh, that I was actually God does not make us out of who we were but he destroys the person that we, we were and now he brings out a new person a new person in Christ so uh, Minister Susan is just going to tell us uh, why men live homes because she has experienced men out there and uh, they would even tell her why they have left their homes so uh pastor susan before you tell us all that uh can this give us a brief about yourself who is pastor susan uh, do you have a family uh what is it that you're doing for god right now Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Pauline, for having me. Mm. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege. 
and uh, I'm so humbled that uh, even the Lord can trust me to just, mm -hmm. you know, share this uh, very sensitive uh, topic to his people. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that uh, the Lord will speak to us, Amen. even as we, I, I, as I share my experiences, mm -hmm. uh, because that was past, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm a new creation in Christ oh, Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is a testimony to just, you know, encourage somebody out there that mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter what you're going through, especially in your marriage, mm -hmm. that uh, whatever you're going through, uh, the, the, the what I'm going to share right now, I mm -hmm. think somebody, I do believe somebody will get wisdom mm -hmm. and they'll apply that wisdom in their marriage. That's true. So I'll go ahead and uh, introduce myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Pastor Susan Atino mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a woman who have, who have been forgiven much by the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got born again back the year 2002 mm -hmm. by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord has taken me through uh, a process of uh, making. And by the grace of God, he has entrusted me with the ministry that uh, I'm running right now that is called Beautiful Ashes Rescue Ministry. Mm -hmm. Our vision is to go and um, share the love of Christ to the very uh, women that are right now that we call them call girls, mm -hmm. to go and allow them to know that uh, it is not the will of God for them to exchange their body mm -hmm. uh, to earn a living. Mm -hmm. But uh, they were created in the image and likeness of God, mm -hmm. and uh, God has given Given them ability and wisdom of how to live mm -hmm. despite of their uh, situation. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is what we do. And also we run a shelter mm -hmm. for women who are broken because the women who go to the streets, many of them um, uh, are coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we do prevention by uh, allowing any person who is about to go to that direction mm -hmm. to come and encounter Christ and also to go through process of healing. So at uh, the beautiful Ashes Rescue Ministry, we have a center that uh, God has graced us to help any broken woman mm -hmm. that uh, that is in that very situation and we are able to take them through a process of three uh, months program mm -hmm. and we have seen many su successes so mm -hmm. that is who i am mm -hmm. and i'm so happy to be here yeah i really mm -hmm. want to 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 know uh what happened and why men go to the streets and all that eh? mm -hmm. but before we continue what are the the few challenges in a minute that you can tell us that you go through you know at the shelter because someone might say oh my god it's so easy you know mm -hmm. just getting those women yeah. you know and then after three months you just take somebody and now they go to their next level in life do you face any challenges at the center are there things that you encounter that you're like oh my god i really need grace here you know are there mm -hmm. things that you encounter at the shelter yeah uh, we run the shelter by the grace of god mm -hmm. is a vision that the lord gave unto me uh immediately i gave my life to christ he spoke to me and he told me at one time I'll be running a shelter mm -hmm. and that came to pass after 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the shelter is a place whereby there are so many challenges mm -hmm. because you deal with broken people mm -hmm. and dealing with a broken person, it's not an easy thing. You have mm -hmm. to have a very big heart. Mm -hmm. So currently we are believing God for laborers mm -hmm. because uh, not very many people would like to serve in that kind of a situation. So we're believing God with, uh, with uh, God to give us laborers, a people who are Christ-centered, mm -hmm. who when they come maybe for discipleship, to disciple the women, uh, any any kind of gifting that would really help the ministry, mm -hmm. the women to become whole. Mm -hmm. uh, we are trusting people for God for such kind of uh, people mm -hmm. to come and help us. Mm -hmm. uh, the other challenge is that, uh, of course, the, when the women come, uh, they need to eat. Mm -hmm. Some of them come with their children. They need to eat. They need to be taken care of. And that's mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. So we are in need of finances. Mm -hmm. We are also need in, in need of a, a bigger facility because mm -hmm. like during this time of COVID, we, we were a house full because we can only, um, we have, we have, we can only have a capacity of 10 women with mm -hmm. their children, maybe mm -hmm. one, one child. But this time round, we had women who are coming even with three children mm -hmm. and uh, we were so overwhelmed. So because of the situation that we are in right now in our nation, mm -hmm. uh, we do believe believe that uh, having a bigger facility would help uh, yeah. would help um, yes awesome yeah wow thank you so much now mm. we go to uh, the subject for today you are there 
okay uh, that time you'd, you'd see men come to the streets and uh, you know many people think many people think that uh, when men uh, are going to the streets that they are just going or for sex but it's amazing that after i spoke to pastor susan i discovered there are many other reasons as to why men go to the streets and before we even go to to the to 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 pastor susan there one day as uh, we were going uh to church you know and uh we found that there's a man who had come as early as six at six in the morning and uh, he had just gotten into the church compound this man driving this big car and uh, he had parked his car inside the church compound so the guards thought that the man had just come early to pray but uh, the thing is that the man did not come out of the car and uh, because he was in the church compound and uh, the guards just uh, let him be so uh when the the time for prayers came and the prayers were over and uh, now it was time for the service to start the people who are in charge of security noticed that this car then there is somebody inside and uh, it seems like the person is not coming out so they went and knocked on the window of the car and the man rolled woke up apparently the man had been asleep so the man woke up and uh, the, the security uh, guys asked him, well, you know, how are you? So how, w what is wrong? You know, you've been here for, for a while and it seems you're not coming out of the car. Is anything wrong? Uh, the man said, you know what, eh? I just live nearby, you know, near where we have the church. And he said, the reason as to why I have come into the church compound is because of what is awaiting me in my house. He told these people that uh, he the thing that caused him to come into the church compound and rest is because of his nagging wife. Mm -hmm. So uh, being that nagging wife could be one of the reasons as to why uh, men go to the streets. But uh, Pastor Susan is just going to tell us in details. But that one was a wake up call. This man has a home, but he chose to come and sleep at the parking lot because of uh, what was awaiting him in his home and uh, i know the person that is watching me and especially uh if you are a woman please don't be that woman that causes your husband to hang out with the boys because of uh, the kind of an environment that you have created in your home that was just an example so let me go back to pastor susan kindly tell us mm. what is it that causes men besides what people think takes them to the streets what is it that you'd say takes men to the streets um i think uh pastor pauline as you have said previously that uh not every experience that we go through should be wasted mm -hmm. And even before I went to the streets, mm -hmm. I was married at one time, mm -hmm. okay? And I lived with a husband for nine years before he passed on. So after that is when now I was introduced into li the life of uh, uh, prostitution. Mm. But during that time, because the kind of men that I was meeting, so many of them were challenged because of mm. the way I could engage them. Mm -hmm. Because not many street women uh, engage men in terms of, you know, talking the mm -hmm. way we are talking so mm -hmm. we could sit and just have a conversation mm -hmm. and many of them realized that uh yes i was doing it but i was not there really mm -hmm. because i really wanted so they, they saw that i was a little bit smart mm -hmm. so uh, some of them opened up mm -hmm. to me and mm -hmm. uh, we became friends mm -hmm. and i could i was sensitive because i was once married mm -hmm. And uh, during that time that I was married, I went through a lot because mm -hmm. my husband used to go out with other women. Mm -hmm. So me being in this kind of lifestyle again, mm -hmm. um, I was also very sensitive because this is a married person mm -hmm. and uh, I'm here because I'm looking for money. Mm -hmm. So I could engage them because mm -hmm. I was also very much careful about their wives. Mm -hmm. So this is where I got to learn so many things mm -hmm. from them because most of them that I engaged with, mm -hmm. we never had in intimacy. They, they, they took me as a friend mm -hmm. and they looked forward for us to just have a sitting, mm -hmm. have a drink, mm -hmm. eat in a machoma, and then later at night they, they could go now to their homes, mm -hmm. to their houses. Mm -hmm. So is when I got to realize because they could talk to me, they could tell me, uh, in fact, let me just cut short. Mm -hmm. I realized at that time that no man hates their wife. Mm -hmm. 
Did you men hear that? Men love their wives. No man hates his wife. Mm -hmm. Because all along, 90% of the men that I met, mm -hmm. they were always talking about their wives. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife did, did this, my wife does this. Mm -hmm. And most of the conversations that they had mm -hmm. was out of love. Mm -hmm. But they could say, okay, I'm spending this time with you and I will pay you because I know mm. you're doing this for money. Mm. Just allow me mm -hmm. to have a sitting with you. Mm. I will pay you whatever m amount of money that you charge out there. Mm -hmm. But for you to give me a company, mm. because when I go home mm. earlier, mm -hmm. as early as now, mm -hmm. my wife is this kind of a person. Mm -hmm. She will, we will, just a small conversation will bring up an argument mm -hmm. and it will even cause me maybe to slap her or mm -hmm. to beat her. So it's better for me to just spend time with you. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I go and find her sleeping. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what I learned, Pastor Pauline, is that uh, men, because men, are, men open up to an environment that is very will allow them to just you know as women i can come and tell you you know yes. things of what is happening mm. in my life mm. but it will not it is not easy for a man to just open up like yeah, that yeah it's not easy for so a i realize that men have secrets mm -hmm. that sometimes they will not go and tell their wives mm -hmm. because the wife will use that against them during an argument and use it as a reference point yes. remember what you did yes mm -hmm. so women in the streets mm -hmm. So many, th so they know so many things about even prominent men in our society mm. because they are there to listen mm -hmm. and they are listening, giving that person an environment of comfort. Yes. They are not judging this person. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, giving him whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, giving him uh, attention. Yeah, attention and, and massaging his ego, mm -hmm. telling him what he wants. Mm -hmm. It's not genuine mm -hmm. because she's looking for something, mm -hmm. but she's, she has equipped herself mm -hmm. to accommodate this man because at the end of the day, that man will leave money, money. Yes. maybe will pay rent. Mm -hmm. But now she will just, you know, um, position herself and get every wisdom that she needs to to have mm -hmm. to keep this man mm -hmm. so there's a time that uh, many many times Pastor Pauline, like I, I remember there's a time mm -hmm. uh, during world cup mm -hmm. i used to love every team every team was my <laughs> Because you didn't know if the, the person that was coming was, so, the, was from this nation when, or when, this other one. when i realized this person is from nigeria nigeria is my team <laughs> So tomorrow when I get another one who is Holland, ah, Holland is my team. Mm -hmm. So we could pretend. Mm -hmm. Why? To just make this man mm -hmm. feel happy mm -hmm. and have a good atmosphere mm -hmm. because men go through a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, 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 they are the ones who go out there to fight, to, to make it happen for yes. the family. Mm -hmm. They have to, you know, it's, it's men who are fighters. The egos are the ones who make it in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the man is going out there in the marketplace. Yeah. You know, he is fighting with other men, not physical fighting, mm -hmm. but it's the best that gets it, you know. So he's giving all his energies out there. And then when he comes home, instead of getting an environment, where the wife you know mm -hmm. becomes a source of comfort mm -hmm. you know and being that person that is nursing his ego mm -hmm. you know telling him you know what today this happened mm -hmm. tomorrow it is going to be mm -hmm. better it's going to be okay it is going to be okay yes. so uh, because this man they don't get this from the home and it is very possible to get it from the home yes yeah very possible so i think what i can conclude from what you have shared mm. is that uh, the women are not creating an environment mm -hmm. yeah where the, after the man has gone out there after the man has done whatever he needs to do as the man mm -hmm. he has he does not have an environment where he can come and uh, have a moment you know of uh, relaxation you know and uh i also something else that i have gotten from that mm. is that uh, we need as married women and i believe this one is not just for the married woman even for any person that is intending to get married create an environment where after the man has gone out there create an environment where the man looks forward to coming 
in the evening she has told us that men would go to her and tell her you know what eh? i have not come for what people think i have come for i have come for fellowship i want to ask that married woman do you have moments of fellowship with your husband are there those times that you sit down to ask you to find out from him what is it that you have been going through in the marketplace what is it that you have been going through uh, 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 in whatever that you have been doing because she has said that is one that is one of the uh, of the tactics or the strategies that the women of the streets use to get men from their homes mm -hmm. they give this man a listening ear That's right. they listen to this man without condemnation they listen to this man in such a way that the man feels that mm. i want to share and i want to share and i want to share some more pastor susan has told us that the man would come and tell us and tell her let's go and have nyamachoma because i need to talk I need to talk to somebody. Are you that woman that your husband can be able to talk to without the fear of condemnation? I am not talking, I'm not advocating for covering sin, mm. but I am talking mm. of being in a position where the man does not feel condemned in an environment where his wife is part of his company. We will be back after one minute. Marito Bliss. Welcome back to Marito Bliss. I hope you are still watching and kindly make sure that you share the broadcast. I say today our subject is so so interesting. We are looking at why. Why do married men, men who made a vow at the altar and say, and say that I will never leave you. It is until death parts us. What is it that causes those married men to go and risk their life in the streets? Because they don't even know if the woman they are going to the streets to talk to whether she's, she's carrying a gun. You don't even, no, the man does not even know what happened for the woman to end up in the streets. But Pastor Susan has opened up our eyes she has told us that one of the reasons as to why men go to the streets it is not even to seek for the bodies of the women they are going there to seek for the minds of the women they are looking for somebody that they can sit down and talk to i know this is a revelation to many people because people think that men go to the streets to just seek for the bodies of the call girls but Pastor Susan has given us a different, different angle as to why men leave home and go to their wives. Can you imagine a man telling her, you know what, I just want to talk to you. How much are you going to charge you? How much are you going to charge me? I mean, I, I want us to have fellowship. And because I know you are on the streets because of money, whatever you charge for your body, I am going to charge for your fellowship. I believe that is something that we can be able to give our men from the house. Today, Marito Bliss is different. Make sure that you share the page. So back to you, mm. Pastor Susan. Now you've told me that, uh, you've told us that the reason is, apart from selling the bodies, the men, if they find an intellectual woman, you know, mm -hmm. an intellectual woman in the street. So I want to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Because the women on the streets are in business. What is it? Because many people think that uh, the women of the street, they only work on their, you know, beautiful bodies. They just put on makeup. They wear lipstick. They wear tight clothes and very short ones at that. What is it, would you say, that they work on to make sure that when a man comes, that they hook him mm -hmm. and hook him for a long time? You see, Pastor Pauline, uh I do believe when you met Pastor Morris, you mm -hmm. are not a pastor. Mm -hmm. okay? I wasn't. You are not a pastor. Mm -hmm. But now because your, your husband mm -hmm. had a call of God, mm -hmm. you had to tune yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe before then you were doing business and all that, mm -hmm. but you had to tune yourself to back him up. Mm -hmm. So uh, the Bible says that uh, a woman is a helpmate. Mm -hmm. All right, You're supposed to help this man mm -hmm. to fulfill his mandate. So... The same thing when uh, a woman in the streets, a call girl, 
because she's in business, mm -hmm. she will want to learn about, you know, men, uh, most of them are business minded, mm -hmm. they're in politics, mm -hmm. you know, there's a way that when you want to engage with a man to mm -hmm. continue to keep him, for mm -hmm. him to enjoy your company, mm -hmm. you have to be on the same level. Mm -hmm. So we could go and buy newspapers to get to understand how are the stocks running? Please. How is our political atmosphere? You know, mm -hmm. so that when you're seated, mm -hmm. you're not talking only about after this, mm -hmm. how we will go there mm -hmm. and I give your body, I give my body. That is very boring, but that is just, you know, that is something my new. Mm -hmm. But now when you're looking for a relationship that, and you know, at the end of the day, this relationship will birth something. Mm -hmm. So you, we could go and educate ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, learn mm -hmm. as much as we could mm -hmm. to get to know the who's mm -hmm. so that now you could sit with him, engage with him. At the same time, mm -hmm. you're massaging his ego mm -hmm. because no man wants to sit with a woman who is only talking about sex. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. uh, the, a man wants a company, mm -hmm. you know, in the name of a woman that will be able even to challenge him. Okay. So did you study about their hobbies? So you could study about what, uh, how, uh, what are these men looking for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What are their hobbies? If at all is a politician, mm -hmm. now you engage him in that in At that the level area. of politics. politics. Yeah. Yeah. And you sit down, you buy a newspaper yes. to find out who has joined this party. Yes. Who has left this party. Exactly. And all that. So that when you sit down, you you are you are relating with this man at an intellectual level. level. Wow. So that has uh, that was our work. And mm -hmm. I, I found it as a challenge mm -hmm. that in everything that you in every relationship that you get into, mm -hmm. you really have also to desire to have wisdom. Mm -hmm. Even in marriage, mm -hmm. you need even to go to school mm -hmm. and get to learn mm -hmm. this relationship that I have gotten. And I thank God for this marital bliss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you are educating, mm -hmm. you know, married people and even who those who are inspiring to get married in future mm -hmm. of how to get wisdom mm -hmm. that when I get into it mm -hmm. how am i supposed to position myself because it's not only in prayer mm -hmm. it is all not only in the bible study mm -hmm. but it's it's also in an area whereby you'll be able to be friends of this man that you have gotten married to mm -hmm. and how will you become friends if at all you speak mm -hmm. one language it will not be boring mm -hmm. for you pastor pauline mm -hmm. and pastor morris to go for a holiday mm -hmm. i mean you can talk mm -hmm. you, you don't need another company yeah we don't need a yeah you don't need yeah. another that that that, that party mm -hmm. for this you know holiday trip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to really become mm -hmm. and joyful mm -hmm. you really have to have mm -hmm. you know it's, you're speaking the same language yeah. wow yeah. and i think now this brings us to a place of understanding because many people are you know their mouths are left a gap you know wondering okay why, why would this man you know like leave his wife okay connect to this call girl and buy for the call girl a house mm -hmm. buy for the call girl mm -hmm. a car but he even has no intention mm -hmm. of leaving his wife. Mm -hmm. But there is something that he has gotten yes. from this call girl exactly. that uh, him parting with a few millions mm -hmm. no longer comes any, be, no longer becomes uh, something big to him because of what they are getting mm -hmm. from this. I hope and I pray that there are very many people that are watching us right now because this is. Uh, is educating us as married couples and please this one is not just for the married this one is, is even for those who are intending to get married did you hear her say that she would get into she would go and buy a newspaper to sit down and find out the political climate in the country they would go and find out this is a man that i am pursuing what are his hobbies yeah and all of a sudden uh, she would get interested in a game that he has no clue about a game that she would not even play if she finds that this man loves golfing she would go and find out who is who is who in the world in in the area of, of golfing and who won last time and uh, who is challenging who in the in the matter of golf but i have a question for the married women is there one time that you have ever used your money to buy yourself information you might not buy a newspaper. Have you ever walked into a bookshop and bought a book 
that is going to educate you on how to make your marriage better. There are so many books out there by Christian, by Christian authors, people who have been married for years and there is something to show in their marriage. There is something to show. There is fruit to show in their marriage. My goodness, I have gotten that, that I need to continue growing. I need to continue educating myself in my marriage. I, we, I, ref, I, you, we, I refuse to get to a place where I now become lax, you know, I am married, then, you know, then mm. uh, you leave everything, mm. you, you throw everything mm. into the weed, and then you say, now I, I leave myself to fate. No, you are supposed to be, uh, to be very specific, you have to be very particular when it comes to making your marriage joyful because one of the realities about marriage is that marriage can be very very technical mm. it can be very technical and uh, that is not the desire of god for marriage the bible tells us enjoy life with the wife of your youth mm. but you do not just enjoy life when you are not working at your marriage it is when you begin to work at your marriage doing what doing what you know you are supposed to do as a woman that now you begin to enjoy the benefits of enjoying life with the husband of your youth so it's the place where you take responsibility leave the man to take his responsibility but as a woman as a wife what responsibilities have you stretched yourself at least a bit to make your marriage better have you created an environment where uh, an environment that your husband desires to come home to so back to you pastor susan mm. yeah i mean today it's just different you're educating us mm. i tell you foolishness is going out through the window because knowledge is coming through <laughs> <laughs> it's through it's coming through your mouth mm. so what is it that you would tell a woman we are about to to end the program mm. what is it that you would say would be another reason as to why men leave the comfort of their homes mm. to go and look for for street girls yeah um i think i need to share one testimony mm -hmm. uh and that is after now i gave my life to christ yes so when we were, it, it was last year, early last year, mm -hmm. when we were, uh, we were doing our, our date outreaches mm -hmm. before the COVID started. Mm -hmm. So I was just going along the streets and talking to the ladies. Mm -hmm. So after I finished with the outreach, a man, a man followed me. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, are you a pastor? I told him, yes. Mm -hmm. He told me, I saw you preaching to these ladies mm -hmm. and I thought you, you have a solution to mm -hmm. what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. So I pulled him aside because people were passing mm -hmm. and uh, I asked him, okay, what is your challenge? He told me, uh, I'm married. Mm -hmm. I love my wife so much mm -hmm. and uh, I have a son. Mm -hmm. And uh, I usually come here mm -hmm. to take these women. Mm -hmm. And the reason I come here is because my wife have refused. Mm -hmm. Uh, to give me my rights. Mm -hmm. So he told me, this is my the number of my wife. Mm -hmm. Please call her. Mm -hmm. I would like you to talk to her. And uh, even if, if at all she agrees, I would also like to, mm -hmm. to be in that uh, place mm -hmm. whereby you can talk to us, all of us, because mm -hmm. I don't like what I do. Mm -hmm. I love my wife mm -hmm. and I hate it when I come to these women. Mm -hmm. So immediately I shared the gospel with him mm -hmm. and... Uh, after that, I followed up. Mm -hmm. So these are also some of the challenges mm -hmm. that uh, make men go to the to the streets, mm -hmm. because maybe something happened, mm -hmm. and as a woman, you found it as a way to punish your husband. Mm -hmm. So as you punish him, now he'll go looking, you know, yeah. for solace mm -hmm. uh, in that area, mm -hmm. maybe to a, a neighbor or now freely to the women to who, the are women. Yeah, who are selling it. But now, uh, at the end of the day, that is that will not. Uh, it is not a very good thing because at the end of the day you and your child mm -hmm. you are in danger because he's going to anyone and there, you know there, there is exposure to disease yes to disease and all that mm -hmm. so that is one of the problems and if at all there's somebody who is going through that mm -hmm. it is very important to seek for uh for wisdom or for prayer from your pastors or from somebody that you can trust mm. so that you don't even allow your husband to go to that direction mm. yeah the other testimony that maybe i would like to share shortly 
uh, when I was still in that uh, in that trade, I met a man, mm -hmm. and this man loved his wife so much. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the wife was an intercessor; she was always in prayer. Praise God! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> <laughs> and he was he was a very prominent person oh, uh, from Tanzania, mm -hmm. but the wife was very dedicated to God. Mm -hmm. So you can be so much dedicated to God, mm -hmm. and you 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 get out of the place mm -hmm. of your assignment mm -hmm. because being somebody's wife that is a place of your assignment, mm -hmm. and God honors and respects that. Mm -hmm. So you can be an intercessor who has driven, made, you know, you've gone to... As, you're, as you're interceding <laughs> for the nation, the husband is going out yes. to the door. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, we hook up with him, and uh, to cut the long story short, um, the Lord saved me. Mm. Uh, after that relationship, I thank God for the, the prayers of the lady. But what I learned from that mm. uh, relationship is that even if you are spiritual, mm. you need to create a balance. Yes. Your husband needs you because this man was not born again. Oh, he was not, he born, was not again. born again. And in fact, when we were with him, mm. he was thinking of pursuing Rastafarianism oh, because God. he didn't see this the, the Christianity, God, the, the God of his wife, really mm -hmm. doing anything in mm -hmm. his life. Mm -hmm. So we need also wisdom even as we pursue God. Mm -hmm. If at all you have a husband who is not born again, mm -hmm. you need a, a lot of wisdom to create, you know, that balance and mm -hmm. if one, even to be there for him because this man was traveling everywhere. Mm -hmm. And now because the wife was not available, I was she traveling was, she with... She was always praying. Yeah, I was traveling with him. So as you're traveling with him, the wife is praying for other families. Yes, other families. So, but now <laughs> he was not happy because every now and then he could remind me. And mm. the wife was so beautiful. Mm. I love my wife. Mm. I wish she's the one that I was traveling with. Oh my goodness. That, you know, if you're not there for money, that is very offensive. I was very, <laughs> I was offended, of course, because I didn't know the Lord. <laughs> but, but you're like, you know what, for me it's business. I travel with you, you yes. give me money. Of course. You know. Of course, I was traveling, and there was a. It was traveling uh, to be paid. Yes, yes. Be paid. It, yeah. it was a business. Yeah, for you. it was a business. It was a business for you. Yes. But I mean, that is so. And it's mm -hmm. a, such an eye opener mm -hmm. that as much as we are Christian women, yeah. as much as we are Christian women, there is a place of prayer. Mm -hmm. There is a place of prayer, and there is a place for the family. Yes. Because that man who is not born again, you are the Bible. You are the only that Bible will he will see. ever read. That's right. He may not have a moment to mm -hmm. sit down and open the book of Matthew mm -hmm. and open the book of Mark. You are the only Bible mm -hmm. that she will, he will ever encounter. Be that kind of a Bible that reflects God. So there is a place to pray and prayer is essential. We cannot do without prayer. Yeah. But as a married woman, there is also the part where you take care of your family depending on the schedule that you have during the day wake up pray and when the the day breaks and uh, you need to do everything else that needs to be done in regard to your husband mm. in regard to your children make sure that you do it because in that way you are showing the love of god to them that's right there, there is no way you can uh, pray and pray but your husband cannot see the submission mm. that the bible speaks about there is no way you can pray and pray and uh, and your husband cannot see the jesus in you because uh, the jesus in uh, in you is supposed to dictate to you that you are supposed to take care of your husband that you are supposed to help your husband that you are supposed to take care of your children so there is a place for intercession and there is a place for taking care of your husband did you hear she would be paid to travel with a man paid not for anything. The man was not after her body. But the man, she was being paid because the man needed company as he was traveling. But the man was saying, I love my wife. And I wish that in your place was actually my wife. Be that wife that God desires for you to be. I believe today's session is such an eye-opener such an eye opener that men do not leave their wives because they are looking for intimacy outside there are many other reasons that men leave their homes for and what has as pastor susan told us that the men do not want a woman that is nagging 
Okay, the, I'm the one who started with that. And then she has told us that men go there because he, he is looking for a woman, you know, who will fellowship with him intellectually. He, the man is looking for a woman that will just give him company. Are you that kind of a woman? And they would even go and look for information to make sure that once they hook this man, that this man does not go back to his wife. I want to ask a woman, what is it that she has told us that you cannot be able to do? You have the ability to give your husband the company he desires. You have the ability to shut your mouth and talk when it is necessary. Because in marriage, it is not what you say. It is what you say and when you say it. It's not like your a husband does not want you to talk to him. But it is also very sensitive to know when will be the best time to talk to my husband. For those who have nagged, they know that nagging has not worked. Why don't you look for another strategy that is going to work for your marriage? Give that man undivided attention. Give that man moments to pour his heart without without condemning or judging him because there is a difference between judging and correcting in love if you correct that man in love it will build trust and any time that he feels he needs to share anything with someone he will come back to you why because he has found you as a person uh, uh, as a place where he can still pour out and continue to be loved she has told us that out there they were faking it because of what they wanted mm. it but you can make it real That's in right. your family mm. you can make it real you can give that your husband real attention you can give that man real the man can feel real concern because she has told us the concern was not genuine she they would know they knew that this is not my man this is not my husband i am in this for money so the the the, the nursing you know caressing his ego was because of what they wanted to get but at home i I am not saying that you don't correct your husband you can correct your husband because it is also not fair to say that you let your husband mm. to go with to get by with everything that he does whether good or bad but what i would say we have learned today from pastor susan and thank you so much mm. for 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 just taking us through this may god bless you so much uh what i've learned is that what they did you can do and you can even do it better because you are doing it from a position of love them they were looking at they were doing it from a position of interest mm -hmm. because of what they wanted to That's get right. from the man yeah. but you can do it from a position of love mm. because according to god you are supposed to stay with that man not for a month or two but it is supposed to be for a lifetime amen pastor susan mm. before we say we call it a day. Kindly look at that camera and pray for marriages. Pray for that marriage where the woman is saying, I didn't know, but today I have known. Okay. I have uh, I've not been giving my husband the attention that is due to him. You know, I've just been, been that nagging wife. I've mm -hmm. never, I've not tried uh, to listen hard enough to find out why my husband does mm -hmm. whatever he does. So use that camera and uh, pray for a woman out there that is saying, I really need, and uh, I, I, I not only need, but I also want to change. Okay. Um, yeah. The Bible says that uh, <clears throat> the people of God perish because of lack of knowledge. Mm. And also the Bible says that Satan came to steal, to destroy, and to kill. Mm. And the enemy is after marriages and also after, you know, the seed of God. Mm. So today the truth has come. And uh, what I've shared is not to say that every person, man who goes there, the genesis is because the wife was not good. That is just part of the story. There are those that, uh, you know, you've gone through attack from the pit of hell. So, and you've been doing all that. So don't feel as if, you know, um, what we have shared, you have done it and still your husband is going out. Mm -hmm. But today I just want to come as the woman of God has given, given me an opportunity to just pray because prayer is powerful. 
the reason that I came to the kingdom of God is because a man, a woman prayed and she prayed and thereafter I I was I, I was convicted and I came to the kingdom of God. And today God is using me to bring reconciliation in families. And right now I want to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you because Lord, you're not limited. Mm. That man could be going out there because something happened in the house. The wife didn't uh, treat him well. But today, Lord, you are changing the story because, Father, you have brought wisdom, Lord, through this platform. I pray for every marriage that has been attacked, Lord, and the man has gone out or the woman either has gone out. So today I decree and declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. And, Father, I pray through the power of working of your Holy Spirit, may that man come back. May that woman come back. May there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. And may this turn to be a testimony that, Lord, there is no marriage that, Lord, you can't heal. Father, as you heal them, Father, Lord, let your holy name be lifted on high and let your holy name be glorified. And if at all that man is not born again, Father, Lord, we call them into the kingdom of God because there is where the healing starts. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for their salvation. If at all that woman is not married, Father Lord, uh, not born again, we ask them to come to the kingdom of God through the power of working of your Holy Spirit so that, Lord, there can be healing, Lord, in that marriage in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, receive all the praise, receive all the honor. And it is in the name of Jesus Christ we pray and we do give thanks. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. So thank you so much for being a uh, part of marital bliss today and i believe that uh, god has spoken to you god uh, has really opened your eyes to a, a reality that uh, was not real to you and uh, i pray that even as she has prayed that the marriages of god's people are going to work and whatever needs to be done for there to be a reconciliation whatever uh, god needs to be done for there to be a restoration that god will do it because it is his desire for us to have blissful and wonderful marriages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So until next time, my name is Pastor Pauline Gashero and I have been joined today uh, by Pastor Susanna Tieno. So until the next time that you have marital bliss, God bless you. And this coming time, I will still be talking to, uh, to Pastor Susan. So you really don't want to miss this because this other time you're looking at it from a different perspective because she is a woman that is a, that has really lived her life. I mean, she is a <laughs> testimony of God's grace. The next time you're going to talk at uh, is because when she started, she told us that um, her husband died when her children were very young. She was once married. So uh, and now she has uh, she's going to tell us whether she has beautiful children. But I believe she she does because and I know I know she does because I know them. And uh, the, our next uh, episode, we shall be talking on uh, what are the challenges that uh, single women go through as they raise their children? What are those challenges that single moms, you know, those single moms go through as they raise their children? Because for those who do not know, they might bring them to a place of judgment, you know, judging them, you know, thinking that their children, the outcome of their children is wrong because uh, they have raised them as a single mom. So for more of that, kindly join us in the next episode of The Marital Bliss. So until next time, next week, God bless you and stay blessed. Love is kind, doesn't know evil. Love is strong, gives confidence. Hope in hardest moments. Love protects, unifies, removes every fear. It's beautiful, does not contend. Cherish one.